Why, Sheriff? Why do you like this law? Well, we've been enforcing the uh, two other state laws and the federal laws. This is just another tool uh, that law enforcement can use uh, to detect uh, those here illegally. It's now a misdemeanor. They can be arrested uh, and uh, put in jail. And uh, we have a big problem uh, in this state and across our nation. Something has to be done. The federal government needs help, and we're here to, to uh, help. Sheriff, what's wrong with that? If there, it's a crime, it's only a misdemeanor. If it's a crime, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're going to target people based on who they are, in this case, Mexican-Americans, but if there was anybody, that is racial profiling on its face. To say that we're going to stop the incoming of people that are Mexican Amer uh, Mexicans into America is to say that you're going to pe look for people that look Mexican, which is racial profiling for a lot of very legal citizens of Hispanic descent. That's the problem with it. Joe, you the know, mayor of uh, the mayor of Phoenix, Phil Gordon, calls it a hateful law. How well, do you he's respond a, to that? Well, he's an open border guy. He's called me Nazi, every name in a book. Uh, let's get back to Al. Al, you came here in June. Uh, actually, we met in my office, but you called me Bull Connor. You asked for my resignation. You encourage uh, activists to follow my deputies around. I'm really uh, sad that uh, now you're trying to perpetuate more violence uh, if there's going to be violence and dissent uh, over this new law. I'm surprised well, at well, you. Uh, I'm a little confused. I'm, I'm a little surprised at you. You said I was there three times. None of the times was there violence. And did I perpetrate violence? I asked you to resign because people there were making complaints. But this is really not about you. This is about the Constitution of the United States. And this is about making sure that people have equal protection under the law. And if you are a Latino in Phoenix, you should not be subjected to having to ride around with citizenship papers any more than anyone else. If you're a person of color that you may think I'm Latino, you shouldn't have to be submitted to uh, anything other than anyone else. Right. So this is not about you, Sheriff. This is about the Constitution right. of the United States. You're, you're the one that's uh, butting into our business here, Al. Uh, I, I know you get paid for it, but that's your business. Well, I, I don't but think no, you, you don't even know what me. you're talking I, I, about. I don't know, first of all, any immigrants that are coming here from Mexico that could pay anyone. And certainly no one, in fact, I paid my way to Arizona the three times I came and I'll pay my way this what, time. What, it's not about money. There's you want key, to get personal. Why don't yeah. we talk about the Constitution? You're a law enforcement well, officer. a key officer. question Let's here. talk about the well, law. I don't think you read the law. You don't understand the law. You, All right, here's you don't one, read the law. Sheriff, a key I question have. is what constitutes a reasonable suspicion? Well, you know, we stop people all the time for every type of uh, traffic uh, violation and other crimes. Cops do that all the time. They have a right to ask for their driver's license, Anyone, ID, right? and so Of course. We don't just uh, go on a street corner and grab people. why do you need a law that says reasonable su uh, su uh, suspicion if it's already inherent? Well, uh, let me tell you this. Now there's a, the new law says that we can arrest people pursuant to our duties if they're here illegally. So that's a good part of the law. There's nothing wrong with that well, because I mean, it is well, a but that, that, It says reasonable, reasonable suspicion of being here illegally. So he's talking about car stops. We're talking about immigration. First of all, immigration is in the hands of the federal government. No state's supposed to uh, interfere oh, with the federal that, government Al, in terms right. of immigration. A state can't He's, arrest uh, again, someone for being a... Uh, uh, we have, we immigration have is federal business. Secondly, I think that if he's the toughest sheriff in the uh, country in immigration, then why do they still have a problem? They not have three different laws. If he's so tough, we should see immigration having gone down. Thirdly, it is clearly designed at an at a, at ethnic group of people, something that he's not denying. Well, you are you going to tell me if you pull people over in that county or in that state that are not make, uh, looking like they're Latinos, what They're going to ask them to prove their citizenship. What do you do with yeah, the we do it all the time. I think what you do with the problem time. is you have immigration reform. I think that the Congress and the federal government must uh, move forward. None of us want to see the borders open. None of us want to see drugs and crime. But you don't have two wrongs to make one civil right. People do have rights. Doesn't that concern you, Sheriff, to, to uh, say target someone just because they happen to be of a certain race? We don't do that. Uh, we've arrested uh, hundreds and hundreds of people, never had any problems until uh, 
uh, Al's uh, friend, the president, uh, 60 days in office, had his Justice Department launch a civil rights investigation against me and my people. They've been roaming the streets for a year and a half. They haven't found anything. So evidently, we're doing the right thing. And I know that law enforcement under this new law will also do the right thing. Will this law help curb illegal immigration? It sure Jerry. will. Uh, it sure will. Uh, I'm confident of that. And we're going to do it in a honest, professional manner like we all have been doing it. So Could I, you I don't explain no to the country why the laws that you have been enforcing has not worked and why you, uh, you think this would? You, you, you claim to be the toughest guy. The laws well, that you, you have go. used haven't worked. So why, why does this work? What's going to happen here other than harassing people based on who they are? By what magic are we now going to see because you stop people, you see they look like they're brown, that you're going to ask for because, their ID, how that uh, will bring this I, I'll down? I'll tell you what, we have 20 percent of the people in the jails that I operate, 20 percent. Uh, charged with murders and every violent crime you can think of are in this country illegally. They came across the border. They are criminals. There is a law and you're, be the about crime that you seem to forget murderers. that. But I'm asking how this bill you think will solve the immigration problem without exacerbating tensions. Look, how do you feel this works? Because nothing that you've tried before has worked, Sheriff. You still have the problem. No, I don't know. The problem is that a lot of people have left the, uh, uh, this state. They're going to California or going back home, but they're the leaving. The problem is the people that are left here the state illegally. going to California. They're here. Yes, right. we arrest a lot of I people coming through, heading for California and other states. Now, what action do you plan here? I think, that, well, I've said that if the courts uh, does not uh, uh, either enjoin this or if the courts uh, do not overturn it, that just as Freedom Riders went into the Deep South when I was a yeah, kid, we're march. going to go into uh, Arizona, and we're just going to walk together as American have citizens you, and not a, submit to this. Have you said that year? Have you, you had an emergency year. hearing before a federal judge? There, there, there are groups that we're part of, Nash Action Network, along with other groups that are going into court this week. Well, what and do you if think? we can't overturn it, then we're willing. I think Martin Luther King Jr. said it best. Sometimes you have to disobey state laws for a higher Sheriff law and D. certainly to protect federal Sheriff constitution. Sheriff, do you fear an encounter here? No, he's, he was here last year and encouraged people to follow but my deputies around. he didn't have this law. And videotape my deputies just because they're doing their job. So, you know, Al, you come on back. We'll meet again in my office. We'll discuss the situation person to person. That's fine. But we're also going to test the law if it's there. Hopefully it won't be there. And either way, we can meet in your office. But, again, my fight is not with you. My fight is that we must protect the Constitution of the United States for everyone, whether they're black, brown, or white. That's the concern. And I think if you listen to the citizens in Arizona or the attorney general or the mayor, you would find that that's all people are talking about. No, they're talking about 70, 75 percent love this new law. You know, do your research. They like this new law. So if the people that I serve like the new law, we're going to enforce the law. Well, Very I don't simple. know that 75% like it or not, but I know there's been times that majorities in some states liked a lot of laws that were unconstitutional and immoral. Unfortunately, the Constitution is supposed to protect people even if they're in the minority. That's why this okay. country aspires yeah. to All be right. great.